So today we're having a look at the Haynes 340 AC. Uh, just coming at the Brundle office. It's a 2001 boat, single, powered by a uh, single 85 horsepower Nani. That's a diesel through a shaft, very economical, nice setup. Obviously we know the Haynes boats well here at MYA, agents for them. Uh, good, good quality boats these, locally built, built here in Norfolk, down at Catfield. Very good reputation. You can see the uh, synthetic teak bathing platform there, good stern access, GRP dodgers, got the folding windscreens, all the framework and canopy drops down as well, uh, reducing that air draft down, I think it's about round, round about nine feet. Uh, so with that, diesel shaft, low air draft, very good river cruiser. Um, the current owner has actually been using it in, uh, in France, over on the mainland. So absolutely perfect for that, extended inland cruising. You can see the big solar panels he's put on the front, um, trying to make it a bit more self-sufficient. But as I said, absolutely ideal for, for extended time on board, cruising the inland waterways. You'll see on the inside the accommodation is good for a 34 foot boat, that low air draft, economical, nice wide decks, non-slip tread on there, protected by the stainless steel guardrails. Grab rails, windless anchor. All looks to be in good order on the outside here. Do the usual, just machine polish, just to bring it up to 100%. But canopy's good. We'll uh, head on up and. So we're just up in the wheelhouse here. You can see the helms on the port side, very tidily, neatly presented. We'll pan round, you can see you've got some L-shaped seating there on the port side. Again, that nice synthetic teak flooring. More seating down the starboard side, good stowage lockers as well. All the deck equipment. Just pan round, you can see sliding door access down to the saloon. Canopy, I said, all in, in good order. Doesn't look very old, to be honest. Fair sized outside space. Good vantage point up here, 360 vision. We'll uh, head on down below and have a look at the So you can see in the main saloon area. Got this nice L-shaped seating on the port side, which I believe does pull out to make a fifth and sixth berth there. Another sort of settee on the starboard side. Plenty of stowage. Got blinds all round, including over the uh, somewhere you can see the fly netting on there, and then full blind on the other side. Just pan around and show you a bit more of the saloon area. Nice light timber finish. Modernises it a little. Steps down from the wheelhouse. There's control switches, got inverter on here. Victron power chargers off the solar panel and there is a main charger combi with the inverter as well. I think it's a 16 100 watt inverter, bow thruster on here, diesel warm air heating, everything we need. We step down into the galley because you've got this nice modern teak and holly floor there. Very good sized galley actually. I'll just want to step back a bit and show you that. It's very comfortable, very well appointed. Free burner hob, oven, grill. Sink and drain, I've got 240 volt immersion, hot water supply. And you can see them Ocean Air style blinds there. Stowage, plenty of lockers. Again, uh, saying the guy, uh, current owners used it uh, on the mainland for extended 
time of board, and you can you can see that on here. It's absolutely perfect for that. Let's pan around that saloon again. Got the usual little bits there, just on the woodwork, but nothing too horrendous at all. Standard sort of stuff for a boat of his age. We've got a forward cabin with a V berth, hanging lockers, stowage, drawers under there. Fair size as a as a guest cabin. Again, lines in there. And the one of two heads, both electric toilets as well. And just down the aft end, you can see we've got a nice sort of offset double berth there in the aft cabin. You can still, as you can see, get down that side, so not completely offset, so sort of island, come, offset, double, nice idea, allows for space on this side of the berth, get you into the, the second heads, very similar setup, wet room style, WC, and this nice light timber finish throughout. Very good size cabin, nice master cabin. And one more glance up in the saloon, the main living quarters. And there we have it, that's the Haynes 340AC. Uh, currently on display in Brundle, specification, pictures, more details below. Any other inquiries, range of viewings, etc. Please do give us a shout.